Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So today um, we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing I want to do, we're going to jump planets. Um, we're still at Hoffman right now. We're going to move over to, uh, let's have a look at the star map. Trondheim, I believe. Uh, yeah, well, how long does it take to go to here? 14 days to Hamar. It's a four skull planet though. Don't want to go there. One skull, 17 days to Trondheim. How far is it to this one? 26, 29, yeah, lots of days. 49 to get out of here. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Trondheim first. Let's travel there, 17 days. Before we do that though, um, what we wanna do is, I don't think I can, see, um, normally when I start these uh, series off, I'll refit all my mechs. Normally I strip the jump jets and add armor and I didn't do it this time I just kind of jump right into the things because we did spend um, we did spend 500,000 sea bills to open up the pirate um, um, availability of like getting pirate gear and stuff so I, I didn't, never really laid my mechs out the way I normally like them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that with this guy this is the only guy that hasn't been repaired um, and since this guy is gonna be my long-range mech uh, I think I'll probably end up saving this medium pulse for something else. So let's drop that in here. Well, that's two tons, right? Right? Yeah, and what are we doing heat-wise here? Alpha Strike 72. So let's, I'm going to pull the medium pulse out. We're going to use that on a, on a mech that's going to be closer in. And I think we're just going to run with this as it is. And I want to pull my LRM ammo down uh, into the to the legs here. Uh, just to keep it out of the way. So now we should have, we've got like five tons now we can add stuff to. So do we have anything we can add? Uh, targeting computer, grants his breaching shot. I think this, if anything, this should probably go on the, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, oh my God, my brain's dying here. This should go on the urban mech. Um, this is kind of cool too. Where does this go? Can't be used with double heat sink kit. So if we pull the double heat sink kit out, just, just for sake of argument here, we don't have enough room. Uh, wait, where'd it go? Oh, right here. They repla oh, I see, it replaces the XL engine. Yeah, look at the look at the weight now. We'll find a use for it somewhere. Uh, so five tons. Let's crank the armor right up. And yeah, it's almost maxed. So since we're the long range boat, land long range boat here. Let's just make sure we have everything but the back armor maxed out. Arms are maxed. Head. Everything else is maxed out. Yep. So there we go. We're gonna leave it like that. I think. Um, not much of a change. We, when we get bigger LRMs, we'll definitely add some more LRMs and stuff in here. Uh, rock, we don't, we, well, nah, half a ton for a rocket launcher. It's like six damage per missile, though. It's nice that they've increased that, though. They were only four damage before, and it's like, eh, weren't really worth it. But that, for one shot, an extra 10 missiles might be nice. 460 meter range. Um, these guys are 450. Um, that's four. Now we've got patchwork materials. Let's drop these in the head. And yeah, there's a half a ton there. Let's drop the rocket launcher in because we can. Normally I don't use rocket launchers, but why not? It's six, six damage per missile. It's a one-shot thing, so maybe we can use it for getting a kill on somebody. So this is a 25-day rebuild. So we're going to confirm this. It's really the armor, right? All right, so that's going to be stuck at the end of everything. We want to get as many mechs up and running as we can. So let's make the jump. Uh, navigation star map. Okay. Jump to Trondheim. Calculating course now, Commander. I've got the financials. 
So 342,000, not too bad. Should we get our training module up and running shortly too? Ah, oh, great. Hmm. Might as well medical point. We can take that because these two guys are in high spirits. That's awesome. Payroll of mushroom. Gave indicators back. I know I probably shouldn't have started refitting the armor on the uh, the uh, hellspawn first, but uh, it was the only mech that wasn't damaged, so it's a good start. We have to do them all, so all right, we got the training module up. Um, is there anything else we can get up real quick that's cheap for tech points? Structure doesn't give us any tech points. Power systems two is three sixty. Recreations two twenty five from two morale and one tech point. This guy is just like can't do it. Um, repair scaffolding is two hundred. That's one eighty for ten days. Three fifty for six days, but this is the second repair bay. Uh, let's hold off for now. Let's just hold off. Um, our base here. We're going to have to have enough mechs for the next mission here. Vindicator took some damage. Heat sink was damaged. We don't have any heat sinks. we got to wait till we get there for the store. Armor on this guy is pretty good already. Urban mech. Three fit him. It's a heat sink damage too. Um... Uh, we said we were going to put the uh, this cockpit in, didn't we? Although, man, we got to get rid of... We need armor on this guy like crazy. So maybe as we pull the two ER smalls and the two jump jets out... How much heat is this guy generating here? He's got 38. He's sinking. Heat is 16. What? How much are these guys generating? 11 per. So if we pull the two ER smalls, let's say. Um, and just go with this regular medium. Pull the two jump jets. So we can get rid of this damaged heat sink. And then we don't have to worry about that. Let's go to equipment. Let's grab our targeting computer. Still pretty cheap. Um, eight heat sinks per ton. So we need seven, which is what we have. We got one ton left over. This is 12 rounds. Um, We do something like that, I think. That'll definitely help out. Got the ECM in here, stealth armor. Yeah, I think that's pretty, I mean. We could do this, but then we need double heat sinks. We can't do it. Um, yeah, that's a seven day fix, but I think that's probably worth it. can't justify this right now until this guy's got full protection it's not even worth it so let's confirm this right. I'll get it in the skip. indicator it was a heat sink we wanted to get rid of um, so we do that heat efficiency is what still garbage
let's say we pull medium and small. That's 18. Put a medium pulse in instead in the arm because it's got a better chance to hit. And then just increase the armor, I guess, for now. Actually, let's do this. How much do we have here? Yeah, it pretty much maxes most of it out. Uh, something like that. LRM ammo should always... Well, 13 days all of a sudden. Well, it's 12 days. Might as well go to 13. Sure. All right. Let's confirm this. I didn't want to do all this in one big blanket thing like this. But it kind of has to be done. All right. So let's get to where we're going. Refit harnesses, sure, why not? Plus two tech boost. Like arrived, Definitely need that. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at the store. I'm just going to be jealous. Oh, there's nothing here. I was going to say I'm just going to be jealous about uh, what's there. All right, let's sell some stuff. Uh, really, it's just the internal combustion engine. About 32,000. Certainly better. I could sell the ER smalls, but I'm going to hold on to them for now. Um... Yep, let's keep working. Man, we need the other mech bay up and running. So this next run that we do, definitely is going to have to be a payment run. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Okay. Um, So the wolf found we lost the arm on him, correct? Centurion's back, so let's manage our tasks. Pull the wolf found down. Herbie and Vindicator up, because we can get those done in, in 15 days. And then we can pull a mission off. Maybe we can't. Yeah, this is bad. Stripping stuff is easy, adding stuff is harder. Strip those. Leave it like that for now. Man. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's sell that junky stuff. Primitive armor. Uh, primitive engine. Sell all of these. Primitive cockpit. Ooh, 130 for that. Nice. Everything else we keep. Alright. See, like things like this. While it's nice, I have no use for it right now. We may have to sell it eventually. We're going to be into next month. Yeah. It had to be done, though. Next definitely needed repairs. Yeah, no one's getting extra payments. Sorry, guys. Okay, once the hell spawns back, we'll be able to go and do something here. There should be a... Um, 
through the pilots alone this time. Uh, there should be a um, a little counter that says wait X number of days. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, almost there, guys. Sorry for the pain on the start here. It's always it's always tough starting Rogue Tech. Um, no, everyone's got to stay on the ship, man. Sorry. Sorry. All right, there we go. So, um, we should have four half-decent mechs up and running now, right? Herb mech, kind of. Um, these three, what's up with the Herbie? What, what are we missing here? Too few heat sinks, nine of ten. Oh, right. Okay, so we need to have... They don't have any in the store, right? This is the first time I've never seen any heat sinks in the store. Should still be able to field it though, right? Even if I was running with one, two, few, few heat sinks? I'm pretty sure we should be able to. Um, let's find out in a second. Uh, so let's see what kind of contracts we got loitering around here. Nice half skull of something or other. Does his own stunts? No. Aggressive negotiations, assassinate, recovery. My god, really? There's no like attack base or anything. Let's have a look at our mech wires. And we'll go back and check and see. Alright, so I'm gonna take this one. And confirm. Alright. Definitely going for gunnery straight up for everybody. Mech warrior training complete. Awaiting orders. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. Had so much troubles on the last couple missions. Trying to make sure that uh, we don't have the same problem. Let's confirm that. So a couple more levels for everybody, that's great. Alright, so um, Let's see if we got anything else. Yeah, no. So maybe biological sample. It's 417 salvage. Recovery in the Badlands. <sighs> Operative. So they're gonna have you facing eight guys at once. It's either that or we go off we go after a couple, or one of these two assassinate missions. Um, oh god I gotta make a choice either we're going after two lances in biological sample probably mostly going to be vehicles and stuff though At least this will cover our drop cost. But we need to start generating some real income. You can really only do that through good mech salvage. Let's go this route. Um, so we're bringing the blackjack back in and the Irby. And it won't let me run the Irby unless I put our heat sink in it, eh? All right, we can solve that real quick. Uh, mech bays. Centurion, let's refit it. Because heat sink. I can't believe there's no heat sinks for sale <laughs> in the store. Why is there no heat sinks for sale? Uh... Oh wait, that should be free. The weight should be free. Yes. All right. Let's, um, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Let's just drop it in the leg. 
someplace different. All right, manage the tasks one day. All right. Now we can finally do this. Slim pickings, guys. I don't know. Defend base. Contested will. Capture base. Defend. Wow, I like assassinates and stuff. You know, when you don't want capture bases, they're all over the place. And when you when you do when you do want them, you can't find them. Um. Let's capture a base, guys. I think we'll probably be okay with this one. Uh, let's go full salvage. Hope for the best. And blackjack. Irby, Vindicator, Hell Spawn. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's see. It doesn't look like there's turrets. Okay. Let's move up and see if we can see anything. Uh, nope. Okay. Yes, Commander. So this map can generally be, well with this mission anyway, relatively simple. Just depends on how you want to play it. And we're only going to be as fast as our slowest mech, which is the Irby unfortunately. So generally what I like to do is come down here. Doesn't look like we have turrets or anything. Sensors around the turret, nothing. Okay. So there's no turrets. Doesn't look like there's any mechs. So, um, since I know where the reinforcements are going to come in, I'm going to kind of set up slightly to be able to ambush them. And you could say, well, hey, that's kind of cheating. It's like, well, no. Tactically, I know if they were going to have reinforcements, this is where they would be coming from. You can put whatever, spin whatever kind of BS you want on that. Modern operational military base to me. Now you will see what this fully operational military base has to offer. Can we actually get down over here? I think we can. We are so slow. Waiting for orders. Especially the, the Irby here. Uh -huh. Hope this AC-20 hits. Definitely want to get it some precision ammo. Some ballistic TTSs. The other thing is we could probably downgrade it to an AC-10 with the extra weight we could uh, add some more armor and some ballistic uh, TTS's I hear ya. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. God this Awaiting is taking forever Going to full throttle. okay so the reinforcements get dropped in over here so um, Not gonna activate the base just yet. Yes, Commander. Now I've got um, I've got Baba Yaga activating the base. She's the fastest, so she can get into combat Standing a lot by. quicker than the rest of these guys could. On the move. Probably gonna want the PPC in the water. 
Hope that medium pulse laser does it's worth its weight. Willing to try it out. Been informed that uh, shit. We didn't didn't get there in time. Been informed that um, pulse lasers are better, but we'll find out. Oh Christ, it's a Hatcherman. What? The hell just happened? Wolf found. I think I would rather have two medium lasers. Lower chances to hit, but they definitely do more damage. Raven, great. And you just stealth the hell out of everybody. Hopefully that counts as being in the square. That's the 35 ton Raven. Fire starter. Let's shoot the Raven. Uh, I'm going to dump everything into it. See how it works. Okay, not a bad start. Flamer fuel depleted. Order. I think if we can utilize this water here, it'd definitely be beneficial to us. Fire everything. everything what can I do for you? Nope, not taking that shot. Commander. Full sprint all the time. All in ass. And now it makes it harder for us to hit them, but also makes it harder for them to hit us. So let's hit fire on this guy. If we can kill this fire starter before the rest of these guys like get into battle on this side. So that's the Raven. Christ. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Because I'm stuck in the water. That's the wolf found. They got half armor. Those good chances to hit on this guy. Uh Why does this damage change? Because it's doing the calculations afterwards. Alright, um... Yeah. That raven's gotta go, and fast. Um... Twenty percent, eh? Twenty-three, a little better from over here. Take that. Never know, right? Nope. I may need some more time in the simulator. Holy Christ. Reporting heavy damage. Awaiting orders. Maybe I should have kept those pilots at the beginning, eh? Got to pull back. Fire everything on this guy. Firing on Inflicted some heavy damage. Yes, commander. Fire everything. Firing a full salvo. Two hits. All right. They got good shooting, man. I'll give them that. Max 
So that's the guy. Christ, I can't only hit him with one, eh? Alright, well. As soon as this guy goes, all the ECM goes down with him. Get some stability back. Oh man, look at this. Probably two AC twos. Okay. Commander. Yeah, firing. We're only going to shoot on whichever one has the best chance here. 16, 18, 13, 18, and 16, and this is 18 and 28. Gonna fire on this guy. Well, at least we hit with something. Alright, here it comes. Alright, good salvage. This is the guy I'm worried about. Holy shit! Shock that Wolfhound's not overheating yet. Pretty close. Receiving you. Okay, one hit in the back. Fire. Hopefully one of these guys hits. Christ. What the hell? Waiting for orders. Jesus. Okay. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe not. Affirmative. Man. That would be a mix. See what they do here. Okay, he's turning his back to me on the other side.
That's the wolfhound there. Can we get eyes on the hatchet man? Okay. Engine crit. Nice. Let's cool off a bit. Let's see if we can toast this guy up. Fire everything. Jesus, really? Only a couple hits off there, all that? See if we can just trash this guy. We gotta get him out of here. Fire everything. Okay, nice. Two left. One less target. Commander? Got to keep that left side turned. Oh no, my mech is limping. Yeah, I know. Maybe we get lucky and get a back shot in this guy. Firing everything I've got. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Okay, let's see what they do. Chop Chop's going first. Wow, he missed. Okay. Nice shooting with the ER mediums, though. Huh. Do I go with the LRMs? He's probably got about 20 something left in that torso. More chances to hit it with the LRMs, but although he's standing in wood, so he's going to take less damage. What can I shoot? One of each, maybe? Or just go with the better chances to hit, I think. I could do an offensive push. 50%. Uh, no. Let's just shoot him. Maybe we got lucky. Oh, oh, we don't hit at all. I, I can't even believe that. He's a good he's a guy. This guy's got good targeting. We sure as frig don't. You know, it is the novice pilots though, it can't be anything else. I can't get too close to this guy either. Staying in the water. 
can't fire everything, we'll leave the smalls off, but dump everything else into them. Okay, good shooting on that one. Same thing with this guy. And fire everything. Oh, we got so lucky there. Tango down. Good to go. Please hit. All weapons are go. God, that AC twenty man. Systems recycling for another shot. Sixty-three, twenty-something. I don't know, guys. Let's go for it. Maybe we make, maybe we make him crap his pants. I don't know. Fire the two mediums. Well, at least one of the two hit this time. That's four shots with 80% chance to hit and only one's hit. I'll take that. Aye, aye. Nice green. Nice green targeting. Firing. Nice that our guys were split up left right like that. Kind of bounced them back and forth to turn their backs to us. On my way. They are AI after all, so you can't expect them to not uh, do bad moves like that. There we go. Don't think we lost anything vital there. I think we got extremely lucky though. Mission successful. All right, 196,000. I don't think it'll cost that much in repairs, which is good. We did take penetration in the arm. We did lose the leg of the Irby, but this thing has like no armor, right? So it's, you know, we got lucky with this guy too. We didn't lose anything major. Uh, what did we lose? We lost a heat sink in the Irby. Trondheim apparently doesn't have any heat sinks. <sighs> Alright, so Hatchiman parts, Raven parts, Wolfhound parts. I think more so than anything, we definitely are going to need to have different weapons. Oh my god, really? Yes, please. Compact heat sink and compact heat sink engine. We want this though. Um, so the compact heat, heat sinks are great because you know they're compact. There's only one slot, right? It's three tons though for one heat sink. XL gyro, forty stability, targeting computer. I think if we want to add armor to our mechs, those two are the ones we're going to need. As much as this is really nice right now. I'm thinking this is probably the best way to go. Let's do this to see what we get. One, two, three, four Hatchiman parts. Raven part, three Wolfhound parts. That's a really great start. Large laser, targeting computer. Oh my god, that's great. I was actually thinking about swapping the PPC out for a large laser so it's be better heat managed. Okay, Steiner took Hamilton from Mark. Uh, 97,000, so okay. Alright. 
it's the days of repair that bothers me the most. Um, we didn't really get anything that we could sell. Got our mech pilot out of action. So we're going to need to do something about this for before the next, uh, ah, man, the next financial report here. Um, what do we have that we can sell here? I don't think anything really. Um, could sell the ER smalls. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. And we've almost made it already to our uh, financial report. A couple of other small lasers. I don't know. All right, we got enough for the next financial report. I do want to jump planets though, so I don't know. We got to add some stuff to the max too. Um, let's have a look at the bays real quick. So the Irby is going to be down. Centurion needs to be repaired. Um, is the Centurion easier to fix? Probably is. We could go with an Ultra 10 on this guy instead. I think probably that's what we're going to do. I think we should probably... Um, God, as much as I like this Urban Mech, it just is not... has no speed. Stealth systems aren't working on it. Uh, let's manage our tasks here real quick. Uh, Hellspawn, we got to get that second Mech Bay up and running really fast. Um, Irby can come down. His leg's gone. Let's bring the wolfhound up. It's still, I look at the time on these. Yeah. All right, well, let me figure out what we're going to do. This is, once again, it's rogue tech is tough and it's always going to be tough um so it is what it is um we'll figure our way out of this i've been in, in harder situations as this to, at the start but uh, we'll make our way out of this one um hopefully we can jump planets and actually let's have a look i don't think there's anything contract wise That's an off-planet. So it would just be this one biological sample, which would be facing two lances. 417, it's pretty good, but we're going to take significant damage, enough probably to be putting a lot of time in the mech bay. Um, so I'm thinking probably what I'm probably going to have to do is sell some mech parts, as much as I hate have to have to do that. Uh, we may have to do that just to stay alive for the first little bit, and then we'll get back into the regular gameplay again. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'll see what I can do between episodes here. And hopefully when we come back, uh, we'll have a half-decent lance. We can run the biological sample mission. And we'll just see how it goes from there. All right, guys. So we're going to leave the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you have any suggestions, drop it in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.